So when you lose someone that's close to you, it's always something that is going to be upsetting. Whether it's a parent, a family member, a friend, or it can even be a pet. No matter who it is, it's usually pretty upsetting for that person. And it can leave both positive and negative effects on someone's life. Most people think that they can go throughout life, you know, they have their parents and they get to say goodbye to them at an old age. But for me, that's a little bit different. My father died from ALS when I was four. And throughout this speech, I'm going to tell about some memories of his life, how his life affected me negatively when I lost him, and also how it affected me positively. So, my dad was someone who was loved by everyone that he knew. I don't know anybody that he was enemies with or didn't like. He loved everybody. Everybody loved him. And when he got sick, he didn't let that change his life. He still lived his life to the fullest. And I remember I was like three or four and I would stay at home with him from school. My brother would go to school and I would stay at home with him every day. He had a little iPad that he would communicate electronically because one of the first things that he lost was his speech. So we would talk back and forth. His answers would always be electronic and a robot would be speaking them, but I was four, I didn't really know the difference. I thought it was cool, but that's always one thing that I remember about him. Um, a lot of the days that my brother was at school, we would go to speech therapy, trying to get him to at least learn a little bit more speech, you know, say that, and I always remember his speech therapist, she's a nice lady, and she would always let me help with his exercises, and she'd even have games there for me to play if I couldn't help them with something that they were doing. And that's just one of my favorite things because that's something that I'm always gonna treasure. Um, and another thing that we did that was always fun for me was his parents, my grandparents, we'd go to their house and just swim all day with my cousins. And it's just such good memories that somebody can never take away from me. Even though he's dead, I still have those memories. Um, he was such a light to everyone around him. Everybody still comes up to me and tells me stories. He worked at the local paper mill and I still have people that worked with him come up to me at church and they'll tell me stories about him joking around, you know, paying for their lunch, just making their day. He was such a good person and that's just something that really means a lot to me because he left such a positive effect on so many people's lives, not just mine. Um, he loved his family. Family was number one for him, second to God. Um, everything that he accomplished in his life, he, he gave that honor to God. He didn't take any, any thing for himself. He said, oh, God did that, not me. I didn't do that. That was all God. And that's something that even serves as an inspiration for me still today. Even through my day-to-day -day life, I think I need to be more like my dad was. Um, so now that I've told you about my father, I'll tell you about how his death impacted my life. And there are many negative outcomes to the death of my father, and the most obvious would have to be, I don't have a father, a real father. I do have a stepfather. Not having a father means that I don't have someone to dance with me at my wedding, or walk me down the aisle, or even walk me across the field when I was on the homecoming court. But all that is trivial. Um, it also means that I had to spend some days a little sad, you know, um, like on his birthday or even on holidays when he's not there. But while there are a lot of negative outcomes to his death, there are just as many positive outcomes, I can tell you that. So I do have a stepfather who's an amazing father figure to me. And now I have a wonderful step family as well who accepted me as not even a step, just as someone that they love just like their own. My stepfather has been there for me like a real father. He buys me gas, fixes my car problems, all that good stuff. He'll walk me down the aisle at my wedding. Um, he walked me out on the football field during homecoming. He's just been there just like my dad would have. And he's accepted me as though I was his own child, not just a step. And another thing that's positive is I get to look back on pictures of my dad and remember all those memories and even listen to the stories that I get told and relive his life through other people, which is really cool. Um, my aunts and uncles always tell me stories about when I was too young to remember stories about things that we would do, just quirky little stories that are always fun to remember. Um, and because of my young age, I couldn't remember that, but it's so fun to get to 
here's stuff that I don't remember but happened. And I know that I have a guardian angel in heaven that's looking down on me all the time. Um, and that's really positive and that's something that I love too. So even though that I miss my dad and I wish he were here, it's something that played a huge role in my life and has got me to where I am today. And I can learn from the way that he made most the most out of life, even when he was sick. Um, and I can also find hope in knowing that he's in heaven and that I will get to see him again one day.